Peter, would you like to speak to a little bit why we're gathered here today? Um, the same intersections over and over and over again, which are not designed for anything except to get a car through it as quickly as possible, are clearly fatal for some set of pedestrians. There are going to be more deaths here. We're trying to bring attention to it to put pressure on the State Highway Administration to change the conditions of this intersection. Thank you. Dave, I know that you've been You've been working closely with some of our delegates to try to get some of these um, state level bills through to improve. Can you t tell us just quickly what a couple of those are that we should make sure that we get through the session? The first one is Delegate Palakovich Cars, uh, HB 0254. Uh, that, that every time somebody's killed, there will be a uh, engineering study, not just is, it, is there paint and signs up uh, and that that uh, assessment, engineering assessment for safety will be posted. The, uh, the next one is Delegate Charcutians, which actually make sure that there's a minimum amount of funding uh, for sidewalks, for crosswalks, for doing signal retiming uh, the, in the state highway budget that is, is there to, can, to, to try and address the backlog uh, right now, even when State Highway agrees that there's going to be, uh, there needs to be an engineering change, it, it can take years for that change to actually get funding approved through the, uh, the minor budget there. We need everybody to tell their delegates, their senators, this is important. Get this done. Great. Thank you. So I'll, I'll add to this, um, I'll add a click to email so that it'll be easy to contact your state level delegates and senators to tell them to really push through these two very important road safety um, bills. Because we have, I don't know if you can see it behind me, but up on that telephone pole now, there are ghost shoes that are, they go up so high that we had to use a ladder. We had to use a ladder to put up the last pair of shoes there for a yet another pedestrian killed. Our goal is really to get to vision zero, to get to zero traffic fatalities and serious injuries. Then we really have to make systemic changes. And so let's help to push through these two state level bills. Let's help to make sure our county roads are safe. Let's help to make sure that we are, um, that we are being more responsive when folks are asking for simple changes like sidewalks, for example, that we need our county to be more responsive. We don't need multiple hearings to get a to get a sidewalk put into place. We need to be much more responsive um, to, to updates like that that are made on behalf of our pedestrians instead of just de designing everything um, for the benefit of cars to be able to go faster. A, a very simple change that we can make right here. A really simple change that we can make would just be to make the make the lanes be not so wide. They're extremely wide lanes, which contributes to people speeding, which contributes to. The, the fatalities that we have seen here at this intersection. So thank you all so much. Um, I will add, um, I'll add a click to email to this and I'll also send one out on my mailing list, which you can find at kristenmink.com and uh, take care.